These bond energy calculations are just for higher tier candidates only. So use the bond energies to calculate the overall energy change, delta H, for the following reaction. And in the question, they will always give you the bond energies. Now I strongly recommend you set it out like this with the bonds broken on the left and the bonds made on the right. And we need to remember to break bonds we need to put energy in and when we're making new bonds we're releasing energy. So we need to spot what bonds we're breaking. So we've got an H to H bond and notice how I've crossed it off on the equation so we know we've dealt with that bond and that bond is 436 kilojoules per mole. We've also got a BR to BR bond, which is 193. And once again, I've crossed that off on the equation. So the total energy in is 629 kilojoules per mole. When we're looking at the bonds being made, we need to spot that there's a big two in front of HBR. So we need to double the number of bonds. So in this case, we've got two HBR bonds. So that's 366 times two and that comes to 732 kilojoules per mole for the energy out. Now to work out the overall energy change, we do the energy in the first number, take away the energy out, and that comes to minus 103 kilojoules per mole. The minus is significant because that tells us it's an exothermic reaction. If you get a positive number, it's an endothermic reaction. Question B. Is the reaction exothermic or endothermic? Explain why by talking about the bonds broken and the bonds made. So the reaction is exothermic because more energy was given out when new bonds were formed than was put in to break the old bonds. Question C. Complete the reaction profile for this reaction. Label the activation energy and overall energy change. So first of all, because it's an exothermic reaction, the energy level of the products needs to be below the energy level of the reactants. We then draw the line on, making sure it goes up before it then drops down to the products. The activation energy is between the level of the reactants and the top of the curve. And the overall energy change is the difference between the reactants and the products. If you're finding the video useful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future videos. So question two, use the bond energies to calculate the overall energy change delta H for the following reaction. So we set it out exactly the same with the bonds broken or energy in on the left and the bonds made or energy out on the right. Now we've got four S to O bonds. The reason we've got four is we've got that big two in front of the molecule. And we've also got an O double bonded to O. So when we add up all of those bonds, it comes to 2238 kilojoules per mole energy in. And then the bonds made, we've got six S to O bonds. Again, because we've got a big two in front of the molecule. So 435 times six comes to 2610, and that is the energy out. So to work out the overall energy change, it's simply the energy in, take away the energy out, and that comes to minus 372 kilojoules per mole. Question three is a more challenging question, and it's what I call a reverse bond energy calculation, because here the examiners are giving you the overall energy change, but they're asking you to work out one of the bond energies. So it says the overall energy change for the following reaction is minus 184 kilojoules per mole. Use the bond energies provided to calculate the bond energy of a CL to CL bond. So we still set it out the same. The bonds broken on the left and the bonds made on the right. So on the left we can see we're breaking an H to H bond which is 436 kilojoules per mole and we're also breaking a CL to CL bond but that's the one we need to work out. If we go over onto the right hand side we can see we've got two H to CL bonds and they're 431 each, so the energy out comes to 862 kilojoules per mole. Now we know that the energy in minus the energy out is the overall energy change. So the energy in minus 862 comes to minus 184 kilojoules per mole. So if we rearrange that, the energy in is minus 184 plus 862, and that comes to 678 kilojoules per mole for the energy in. We can now see that the missing number for CL to CL 
is going to be 678 minus 436, which is 242 kilojoules per mole. If you found the video useful, please give it a like. Thanks for watching.